what is up film flips this is Alan from film strip flips and uh, welcome to our channel yes so us today I've thought of uh, doing a how-to video by the way this might be our first video if I didn't mess this up if I did press the record button yeah, I did well this is not the only uh, video out there on YouTube on how to fix this but I mean uh, this is a common issue that I've uh, been receiving on chat or on PMs uh, this is on how to unstuck the mirror on your Spotmatic or Pentax SP series I thought of making one since um, there are already uh, videos with this one uh, but the problem is on their video they didn't explain that was just a temporary fix the issue with the, this camera is that uh, whenever it happens just grab a pointer here the problem with this uh, model or series that you have is that these two gears uh, this one and this one it gets dried up and basically stucks the uh, mirror lever here uh, what's happening is that if the camera sits on the upright manner for a long time if it's been sitting on your shelf it gets dried up so basically it stucks the uh, gear this two gear that releases the mirror um, when you shot or when you release the shutter. If you have this problem, uh, it's basically for an overhaul. Uh, you need to send this out to a local technician so that it can be serviced. Uh, on some videos, what they did is just put some oil, which basically what we're going to do uh, in a minute or so. But let me just explain something here. Uh, whenever that happens, this two gear is actually connected to the the shutter uh, rod here, which basically tur um, turns the timing on your shutter. So if this two gear is already dried up, then basically your whole uh, shutter escapement or the shutter assembly is also in need of a service. Right, that's why sometimes I've seen this video before that they actually put some oil here and then however and um, made the camera work again however on the one over one second it still gets stuck well basically that's one indication that it really needs an overhaul all right not just lube, uh, putting some lube on your tool because so whenever that happens if you have a one second um, shutter set on this one it hangs not just because of this this gear it also hangs on your mirror this uh, mirror box needs to be lubed as well so that when you have that one second uh, shutter and release it it's going to basically release the mirror enough so to get that working on a one second so basically just whenever you have this problem just send it to a, a local technician and uh, tell them that it's for an overhaul but what if you have a roll inside and the camera stucks on on you and uh, you still have a few shots or you're on mid roll and you need to take that shot so basically this that's the temporary fix that we're going to do and basically we'll try to release the mirrors on these two spot modics uh, using well normally I use um, a thin uh, watch oil or if you have a bike chain oil you can use those but if you don't have any at home I guess this is a common oil that you can get you can purchase just a Singer oil or a 4-in-1 however these uh, oils are 
uh, not thin enough but what you can do is you can put a few drops of this and then maybe put a, a kerosene uh, afterwards so that it will thin out the oil you can probably go out with using a WD-40 however if you do that don't just spray it all over here uh, put it on something like a cup and then get a toothpick and then just uh, soak the tip and then just use that here but since we're going to use um, some common oil that you have here on your home then might as well use that also what you need is a flat screwdriver if it's the early version so that you can take out the screws on, the, on your bottom plate so that you can see the gears here okay uh, let's try so one second well, let's just try to see if this will go up nope. How about this one? No. Oh! Let's see. Alright, let's try to see if we can uh, loop this one and then might as well see if it's going to release. So I'm going to use uh, your normal uh, all in one oil. Could have used the uh, watch oil or the um, bike chain oil, but you know, it defeats a purpose of you having those around your house. All right, so this is just a common uh, kerosene that you can use. Just put a few drops or just a drop on each, so you can thin out the oil, so that you can soak on the on the rods. So basically, it's going to go inside here go all throughout here by the way if you find the video a bit uh, off the chart I'm mumbling and it's startling sometimes well I'm planning just to do a one take video on this one I guess most of my video will be a one take because I'm, I really suck on editing, even in photos, that's why I use uh, film cameras. Alright, so after a minute or two, let's see. One, one thousand. Alright, so. Okay, that released the. About on one second. Okay. Second, hmm. okay, let me just try to see. Maybe the problem is this. Well, I guess this one really needs a new room. Sometimes it's a spring. If it loses the tension here, I don't want to exercise that. No. So this one really needs an overhaul. I got this from the bottom of my bottom part of my parts bin. So it's been sitting there for five years without being. Properly serviced. So yeah. Anyway, this one's working. All right. So that's actually just a temporary fix, as, I, as I've said. 
so with uh, with that uh, if you're finished with your roll, just send this to your local technician and tell him it needs an overhaul. But, you know, check if the technician really knows what he's doing. If he just put some oil here, just tell him that it needs a... It really needs an overhaul. He would need to take the top off, mirror box off, press him off, and service everything. Um, if he can take out this uh, self timer, lube it up, and then put it back all together. Um, it happened to me before that I uh, put some oil here again on the on the gear, and it gets stuck on one over one second. Uh, there was a video uh, uh, on on that you know, that. Uh, it, get, it still gets stuck on one second. What he was saying or recommends was to uh, file this one or file the edge on the uh, mirror lever here. To uh, file that a bit so that when you press the shire on your one second, it would actually just slide off. You actually don't need to do that if you've already overhauled. Uh, the whole camera that happened to me before it gets stuck on the one over one second but after I've taken everything apart and then um, service it overhauled it it worked even on the one over one second without even touching this one so basically I just need an overhaul all right just tell the technician if you're going to send this over to your technician that it just needs an overhaul but if he says otherwise um, if he says it just needs a loop on those gear, you know, just just get your camera, uh, send it to us, and I'll be happy to service that for you. You know, don't pay for for something for less of a service. All right, um, that's I guess that's it right now. By the way, this uh, method of uh, temporary fixing your gears will work on uh, all your Spotmatic series uh, that would be the SP500, SP1000, SPF yeah SPF also on SPES or ES2 what you do what will you need to do on, on, the, on the ES is just take the bottom plate off there will be a uh, PCB board here just unscrew it lift that and then you'll see the gears as well and uh, you can just put that uh, or loop that as well again this is just a temporary fix anyway so if your camera is having a lot of troubles with it just send it over to a qualified technician and we'll be uh, more than happy to service that for you if you send it out to us you know if we have a schedule slot for it we'll fix that for you uh, by the way, that's our first video. We, uh, this uh, channel is still on the works. If you have any topics that you want us to do, just let me know. Let us know. You can go to our Facebook page as well for schedule or even uh, just for queries or for questions. I'd like to hear from you. Alright, I'll hear from Film Strip Flips again and yeah, good luck.